Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Today I'm going to read to you How to Find a Bird. Published by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Beach Lane Books. There are a lot of ways to find a bird. That's the wonderful thing about birds. See, they're looking here with their binoculars. All the different birds. This one is a pigeon or a rock dove. Here we have a house sparrow. To find a bird, first you'll want to blend in. Great blue heron and move slowly. California quail. There's a mallard. Quiet is good too. So quiet you can hear your heartbeat. Tundra swan with her baby. So beautiful. Don't just look up to find a bird. Eastern bluebird, barn swallows, northern cardinal, American robin. Look down, low to the ground, where some birds forage, seeking things hiding in the earth. White-throated sparrow, a northern flicker. Look down where some birds sneak snacks. A wood duck, a common loon. Look down where some birds splash. A ring-billed gull. Honinga. Rosette spoonbill. What beautiful names these birds have. If you take a walk, watch your step. Some birds nest on the ground, like the red knot, the killdeer, the burrowing owl, and also I know of uh, the piping plovers, which nest out at Jones Beach. So, so don't just look up to find a bird. Sometimes you can find a bird by looking straight ahead. You will have to have a sharp eye, sharp as an eagle's eye. Because here's birds here in the trees. This one is a stellar jay. Birds are the cleverest blenders of all. Eastern whip, whippoorwill. Eastern whippoorwill. A long car, long eared owl. At first, you may not see them, but if you wait, you if you are still and if you are quiet, you'll see. You are just as clever as a bird. Of course, you can always look up to find a bird too. All the birds fly. You can look up high in the sky where birds fly. Sometimes when you look up, you'll find birds simply sitting, right? That's a hawk, a red-tailed hawk. And these are starlings, European starlings. Beautiful. If you could perch high in the sky, what might you see? Lots of birds, schools of birds find everything together. If you want to find a bird, don't be tricked. Some birds are stealthy. There it is. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? Was that even a bird? Was it a leaf? It was a bird. Oh, that's a peregrine falcon. Beautiful. Sometimes you don't need to find a bird. Because they're just there, everywhere. You put out bird houses and bird feeders. It will find you. Hello, bluebird. Eastern bluebirds. 
a morning dove. Some birds will announce their presence when they are near. Oh, caw! That's a crow. Caw! The chickadees. Or announce your presence when they see you. Hello, Jay. Blue Jays. And if you feed them, they will come. The, this one is the Northern Cardinal male and the Northern Car Cardinal female, American Robins, a Downy Woodpecker, a Ruby Throated Hummingbird. Then all you need is a window to find a bird. Yep, put out your feeders, open your curtains, and sit and watch the beautiful birds. Some birds can't be found at all unless you read about them, like the dodo birds. These birds are extinct, which means they no longer exist. A card. Carolina parakeet, a dusky seaside sparrow, an ivory-billed woodpecker, passen a passenger pigeon. They don't exist. But the best way to find a bird, if you want to find one, is to close your eyes. Did you hear that? Did you hear that bird? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, God. Dee, 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 dee. Charlie, Charlie. Uh, that's the wonderful things about birds. Ooh, whooping crane. Fabulous. The end. But at the end of this book, it gives you some ideas of how to be a bird watcher, which is fabulous. So maybe today you'll go out and spot some birds and have a great time. Thank you for listening, and I'll read to you again soon.